Good morning. Uh, first of all, thank you for the opportunity just to spend a few minutes this morning. Much has already been said today about leadership, so I will be brief in my remarks as I focus on leadership and impact. The question is, how do we get a return on, on our investment for leadership? As a public school district, it would be impossible for us to provide everything our children need and so the notion of grants and donations is incredibly important to us. There simply isn't enough money available through normal funding streams to meet the enormous needs in our city and our, in our school districts. I'm sure it is the same in many of your organizations as well. However, however foundations, grant providers, and donors don't just hand out money and move on. They expect to learn how their funds are impacting those who receive them. And if organizations like the St. Louis Public School District and organizations like yours want to continue to receive these needed funds, it is imperative that we demonstrate with data, with numbers, how the received funds have made an impact. We need to show the giving organizations that there is indeed a return on their investment. One way to demonstrate the positive outcomes of grants or donation dollars is through human capital really the most critical need that all organizations have and one that I definitely have as a school district. Using outside funds to create a culture of retaining your best people or growing your future leaders from within is a proven way to show the impact of grant or donation dollars on human capital. Every organization needs strong leaders. In my case, I've said that if I've had, had 73 and it's down from 79 to 73, great leaders, then I don't need to have a job because they are the ones that are in the trenches doing the work on a daily basis. Every organization needs strong leaders by using grant or donation dollars to meet the need. An organization justifies the grant or donation dollars with a proven return on investment. Recent surveys of local grant makers indicate that some 61% support the need to provide more opportunities for staff professional development, yet only 26% only 26% of them currently provide grant dollars to support professional development. This is a golden opportunity, a great opportunity for grant seekers to take the lead and sell the grant providers on successful leadership development strategies that can be funded by grant makers. In my world, as I said before, we need great principles to guide our schools so that we provide a great education for our students. This is a non-negotiable. We must not uh, fail our children by giving them inferior education opp opportunities. This also means we need our principals to identify top teaching talent and assist us by keeping those teachers from leaving our district or staying in the profession. How do we do this? We, be, we do this by focused professional development, an intentional effort on a daily basis to make sure that we are doing our best to provide support to our leaders. So I'll give some examples of three examples. From top management perspective, over the last three to four years, and we did on last week, nine of our top managers participated in a pro program at Harvard called the Public Education Leadership uh, Project, a professional development program at Harvard's Business School to assist our leaders in helping them to understand how to make good decisions. Some 10 districts from around the country were a part of that, and this is our third year participating. T that's the top leadership. From a teacher perspective, in addition to the seven professional development days that we have for teachers and the after-school opportunities on a monthly basis, over the last three years, I've worked with a local university to develop a teacher leader program, a program that focuses on giving teachers a degree in teacher leadership, such that teachers don't necessarily believe that they have to leave the classroom to be important leaders in schools. Thirdly and lastly, over the last three years, three of my first four years here, we partnered with the with RBC Regional Business Council and Civic Progress to work with SLU and Washington University to develop a leadership program, a week-long summer leadership program for principals. I get asked all of the time, what has been the difference for the St. Louis Public School District? The difference has been an intentional focus on data and on developing leaders, making sure that leaders at every area of responsibility, get the kind of leadership development they need to be successful. I'll end by saying the following. 
The single biggest way to impact an organization is to focus on leadership development. There is almost no limit to the potential of an organization that recruits good people, raises them up as leaders, and continu continuously develops them. Thank you.